Okay, so story time. A couple of years ago, I broke my iPhone. Wait, hang on, let me, I'll, I'll, see, I'll see if I can find it. Barely broken, battery didn't work. And I was like, I cannot be bothered spending another $1,000 on an iPhone. And at what cost? I'm gonna spend all day, every day on it. No. So I decided to get a brick. So I thought, why don't I get a brick? If I don't, if I can't handle having no apps, I can just, like, you know, always upgrade. And it's been two years. It's been literally two years with this phone. And so, some pros and cons between this. Some pros for this. One, the battery. I, I think I'd charge this once a week. Literally once a week. And it's, it lasts so long. And it's, it takes about an hour to charge. Like, honestly, it lasts forever. Because you're not using the phone. You're only... You're not really using this for texting. Let's be real. Like, if you're texting someone on that keyboard there, no way. Um, but yeah, so you're pretty much only using it for calls. Another, another great thing about the phone is that... About the phone. I feel like I'm selling it. <laughs> about, the, about this phone. You guys should buy this phone. It has all the... No. Um, but another just great thing of having a dumb phone is that, like, say, when I'm out with mates and that sort of stuff and, like, you know, hanging out, I have no urge to pull out my phone and do things. And I know beforehand when I used to have an iPhone, if, like, a conversation wanes, I'll pull it out, check... I oh, know Snapchat, Instagram, whatever app I used to have back then. Brief couple of seconds that you're looking away, you're taken away from the conversation. It really takes it away. It takes like, you know, the meaning away from it. Um, and double onto that because let's be real, you're never gonna pick up out this phone to text someone really when you hang out with someone. You, um, you pretty much you're pretty much setting an example for like your know, friends around you. Going like, "Hey guys, we're here. We're not to here to fuck around on our phones." So there's that as well, which is just it's great. And I've been noticing that before. Like me with an iPhone, when I'm hanging out with mates, I will pull it out. Or one of them pull it out. And we all pull out our phones. And like you know, what 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 are we doing together in person then? I, I know that like the biggest thing about this phone would be like, I I need those apps. I need to have maps. I need to have all those things. Okay, I need to have like Facebook, Instagram for blah, blah, blah. Me personally, just like, I'll, I'm at uni all day, every day. So I pretty much have my laptop with me. So I pretty much export all the functionality on my old phone over to this. Okay. And the thing is, I don't have my laptop with me all the time. If I want to intentionally say, go to a coffee shop and read a book or hang out with my friends, I'm not bringing my laptop. So with that, I'm not getting distracted into a whole plethora of things. I think like one of my favorite things about this phone is that it doesn't have maps. Like there's no maps functionality on it. So before I ever go somewhere, I kind of have to like Google maps the place where I'm going to and then memorize the last couple of directions to how to get there. So that's always adventurous going like, am I going, am, do, <laughs> am I going to remember how to get here or not? I don't know. <laughs> I think one con, it's not as destructible as like the old Nokia 3310. So I, I remember the first like year of me having this phone, every single time I might be out and had a couple too many drinks and I'm like proving, this is always my go-to like joke. I'm like, hey guys, look at my phone. Um, and I go like, hey, it's destructible. It's <laughs> It's indestructible! And I just like slam it on the ground, okay? And like this thing has lasted a couple of hundred slams on the ground, like I mean solid slams. Um, but eventually the display cracked. I've replaced this display, but like there was a crack on here. You couldn't see part of the screen. I was like, eh. I think another con of just only having this phone because I can't really have any other apps is that like when you meet someone, they'd be like, oh, yo, what's your Snapchat? What's your Instagram? And you're like, I don't have them. I only have Facebook and I use my laptop and I, I don't know what's going on. And everyone, Facebook these days feel like this old person app and I'm going like, what happened? Or you can maybe try to text me. Yeah, no, that's probably another con, but like, eh, minor. Honestly, going going forward, say if I move somewhere, if I say go backpacking again, 
I reckon it'll be a good idea to upgrade the phone in that case. So, say if I go move to China and that sort of stuff, I'm gonna to need to have a dictionary on hand at all times. This thing probably won't do, okay? And plus, say if I wanna text my Chinese friends. I can't get pinion on this keyboard. I don't think I can get a pinion plugin for a brick Nokia. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> I love this phone so much. Like, the only functionality I have on it is texting people, calling people, and setting alarm. That's all I use. Like, you can take photos, but photos are horrible. Like, hang on, let me take a photo. This is gonna blow you guys' minds. Here we go. Oh, that exposure. Oh, wow, the flash as well. But the thing is, you're not using that phone for any of that. You're using it to kind of disconnect a little bit. And that's good. 